Hey guys, I'm pretty excited to bring you these next two videos. Uh, flying a 200 kilometer triangle has been a goal of mine this season, and this was the first opportunity that I've seen in the weather forecast. Um, so when I started moving big triangles around on the map, I kind of ended up with two key places. One of those was behind Coronet Peak and amongst the Shotover, and the other one is starting out in the Lindis Pass sort of area and pushing up towards the Wilkin uh, Rabbit Pass and putting another turn point at the head of the Hunter. And Nick's done a big triangle like this a few years ago on Valentine's Day. There's an awesome video actually on YouTube that he put together that you should check out. The only problem is that you've got to get to the start place somehow. And this is the South Island of New Zealand. So it's not straightforward. So you can walk in from the Lindis Pass Road and it will probably take you about six to seven hours if you're going pretty good. Or you have to go up Breast Peak and then walk the 10K across the top and it's probably gonna be about eight to 10 hours hiking to get in there. So I was looking at options of like how I'm gonna do it and the best option was to try and fly in. Okay, 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 I know what you're thinking. Why there? Why don't you just go from Coronet Peak or Treble Cone or somewhere that you don't have to walk a whole day to get to? It's mostly down to the topography and its aspect to the sun. So you're really looking for east faces in the morning north in the middle of the day and west in the afternoon. So you're kind of thinking about the way that the sun moves around. At the same time, you really are looking for longer stretches of mountain ranges that are unbroken, that you don't have any valley crossings. This means that you can fly faster and you can stay high for longer. It's just easier. So this first video is about flying from Treble Cone to the start place 50 kilometers away and then setting up camp and getting ready for the big flight the next day to try and do the triangle. If you enjoy the video and like to support the channel, then you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. All right, there's enough talking. Let's roll the video. After a pretty hard day yesterday, um, I've decided to come over to Wanaka. But I'm really thinking about tomorrow because tomorrow looks like a mega day. I really wanna fly from Little Breast Hill um, and try and fly a triangle over into the Wilkin if possible. I'll try and fly there from TC if I can. It's a pretty big, big walk, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping I can fly there. But there's a challenge. I'm out of Treble Cone, flying on End Peak, and uh, as expected, it's quite hard work. Similar to yesterday, trying to climb up so I can cross over onto Roy's Peak. But um, a bit low at the moment. There's people higher than me, so I know I can get higher. I'm at 6,700 feet and I'm about to leave End Peak. Heading for Roy's, Mount Alpha. Trying to get as high as I can before I glide over. But I think this might be it. And now I've got to thread my way over Wanaka and Harweer. But I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll give it a crack. Finally seem to be getting up here, clawing my way up, trying to get over the summit, and then it will be a flight across the flats and try and get up on Mount Maud. It's going to be difficult to cross the flats, I think. It might pay to be wait around a bit. We got a hard way. Dublin Bay! We're leaving Roy's Peak at 7,300 feet, heading for Dublin Bay. Got Dan in front of me. Hopefully we can connect with Mount 
moored. Tailwind might help. I've got 60k ground speed just with a little bit of bar. And then I'll try and get up on moored and then up on grand view. And then it'll be trying to up on the Pakatui hut and then flying along over to Little Brest or Mount Prospect. Some northerly coming in on the lake. Oh, beautiful. I'm at half speed, getting a good glide, getting less tailwind the lower I go. Spectacular views though, flying over the lake. This is a really important thermal. I need to connect with Mount Maud, which is just there. And I can see bits of fluff floating around. Dan's got low. I've got something that's really weak. So I'll get as high as I can and then leap over to that ridge and hopefully that works. Quite loaded on the glider today because I've got a lot of food. <laughs> I'm now regretting that. I've connected with Mount Maud. It's looking better, but getting over there, I've done better than I was expecting in fairness. And there's a cumulus cloud that's been forming and unforming above me. So I'm hoping to get up to cloud base before crossing over Lake Harweer and going um, up the towards the Pakatui hut on Breast Peak. And then it will be a case of flying along the top and trying to land as close to Little Breast as I can. So in theory, I've just got to get up here, glide and one more climb. Yo-ho! So I'm at 6,800 feet and I'm going for the glide over to the Pakatui hut and then hopefully I can climb up there it's the right time of day to be thermaling up there so it's gone so pretty well so far slow start but hopefully I land right where I want to take off tomorrow getting up on breast peak which is good and then I've got to try and make it over there Feels like there's some northerly here. But even if I landed at the top here, that would be a score. It's the Pakatui hut. I walked up here last week on a Volbiv with Leo and Marika. It's much easier flying up, in fairness. and eventually I got it three meters a second and I'm up nearly at 7,000 feet and I'm gonna glide along this ridge and try and get as close to Little Breast Hill as I can and then camp there for the night hopefully I can top land but I'll I'm pretty happy <laughs> I've saved myself some walking, I just need to safely land. Yeah. Oh, I'll be rude not to put a turn in. I've decided to fly up to Mount Prospect because it's still on and uh, it looks better for taking off tomorrow. Um, also, Glenn said he's gonna go and fly from there tomorrow, so it'd be cool to fly with him. The only problem is that the, the landing's looking uh, more and more technical the close, the further up here I get, so yeah. Gotta concentrate. Flying up my landing gonna be difficult because it's still quite on and if I fuck it up then the options aren't great Woo! 
success. Just walking around, having a bit of a recce, looking for somewhere cool to pitch the tent. It's nice up here. This is what I've come for, is the east face. It's gonna get the morning sun. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't a little bit chuffed with myself. This is exactly what I wanted to do. So I've, I've top landed on Mount Prospect. I guess the original plan was to land on Little Breast, um, but I saw Glenn in the landing field at Treble Cone and he said he was planning on coming up here tomorrow. And when I was flying over, it does actually look better to start from here. It's just a bit steeper and rockier. I've set up camp already. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna chill out, eat some food, get a good night's sleep, probably have a lie in. Um, I might do a run for some water in the morning. Um, I spotted a creek down there, so I might go and do that. Because my, my plan, what I'm planning on doing is flying a triangle tomorrow. And it looks, the forecast for tomorrow is much better than today. So um, the plan was to get here so I can fly this triangle. It's like a 160 odd K triangle but tomorrow looks on for it and I've been meaning to try it from here for a while. So um, that's why I wanted to get here and I was willing to sacrifice the day's flying today for tomorrow. Um, so I did think about just walking up here. I'm glad I didn't now. Um, but I've done it with the least amount of effort po possible, which is, which is perfect. So I, I got a lift up trouble cone and I flew here. So I haven't done any hiking. Um, which means I'm totally fresh for tomorrow, which is great. That means, you know, and I've got plenty of food, so I can fly wherever I want, and I'll be confident that I can walk out, and I've got enough food, and yeah, I can really enjoy the flying tomorrow. I'm driving in my car, bad this. road is long and full of dust. The landscape changes around me, on and on, I feel I'm right. This is one of the more magic Whatever things about flying me, home with. Happened for my highest good. I read that in so many books, now it's almost understood. I'm moving on and on. On and on. I'm moving on. 